Hey everybody, thank you so much for tuning into Carol's Daily Sauce. We are going to be working very hard on bringing you better, clearer content. So this is actually a little reaction of one of Strong Mommy Chrissy's videos, possibly two. From what I can understand, there was a video put out a couple of days ago talking about her meet and greet, red carpet event. She looks so cute on her flyer. No intent whatsoever to knock her. I have always thought that even with the lashes and the extravagance of them, honey, I love extravagance as well, and the wigs, Strong Mommy Chrissy looks cute. You know, when she gets herself together, she looks really, really cute. But I'm speaking of the recent live that came up earlier this morning. Let's get some things or a few things straight. Upload of a video where someone felt like they had to come at her. A couple of people actually. I won't be naming those people because one of them I really, really like. So I won't be naming her nor the other person because I'm not even really sure who it is. But supposedly what happened is someone wanted to do a collab with Strong Mommy Chrissy. Strong Mommy Chrissy claims that she actually coached this person. When she and the person first started talking, the person did not have a YouTube, but pretty much Chrissy showed her the ropes of YouTube. Now, this particular person is now an established YouTuber. And obviously, based on what Strong Mommy Chrissy had to say in her video, got a little upset because of the collab that Chrissy had done with My Jazzy Life with the wig review for My Jazzy Life. You guys know which one I'm talking about. The one where Chrissy calls and says, hey girl, I'm in town. I wanna take you out to lunch. Get up, let's go to lunch. Jasmine hops in the shower, puts on her wig, puts on her makeup, looks cute. And they're supposed to be meeting for lunch. So that's a little collab. To be honest with you, I thought it was cute. They are really doing some really cute and creative things. And I'm not mad at them. I'm not mad at them at all. Because you know, honestly and truly, we should be willing to help one another out. Especially them, because they are single parents. Now I don't know if this other YouTuber is a single parent, and it doesn't matter. But to make a long story short, Chrissy was just on the live, just, letting her have it, okay? Basically, Chrissy was saying that she recognizes who she is, she recognizes her accomplishments, and she's not gonna apologize for them. She's not gonna apologize for the fact that she has 100,000 subscribers, and she shouldn't. She worked for that. But basically what Strong Mommy Chrissy is just saying is that she is very, proud of where she is. She's proud of what she's accomplished within her YouTube journey. And she's not gonna think bad of herself because she's confident. She's not gonna think bad of herself for what she has accomplished. Because you know why? She said there are enough of us out here in these YouTube streets already thinking bad enough about her. Now, The rumors that are going around are collab rumors, basically where people are saying that Chrissy didn't want to collab with certain people because their subscriber count was too low or some other reasons. What Chrissy is saying is it had nothing to do with subscriber count at all. And if you honestly look at it, just honestly, honestly look at it, what difference would it make what the subscriber count is of another YouTuber? It's not going to affect 
Chrissy's subscriber count, the fact that she would collab to, the fact that she would choose to collab with someone with a smaller subscriber count shouldn't make a difference. Chrissy is still Chrissy. She still has her subscribers. So what difference would it make if she chose to subscribe with somebody who was smaller? So whoever came up with that, I don't see the logic. I'm sorry, I just, I don't. But basically what Chrissy was saying is that people are offended by her choice. She did indicate on the video that she and My Jazzy Life had already thought and spoke about them collabing together. And to be frankly honest with you, from what I hear in Jasmine's videos, from what I hear in Chrissy's videos, they are friends. They speak on the regular. So quite naturally, if you have people that are friends and speak on the regular, maybe they had a better vibe because of the fact they are single parents. And I was about to say of multiple children, but single parents of children, you know, of some children. So basically she's like, she meaning Chrissy, Chrissy is like, I don't understand. I don't feel like I have to explain my reasons for collabing with anybody. I don't have to collab with anybody. And she doesn't, she doesn't have to collab with anybody. So it's her choice, as she said, to collab with whomever she wants to. So what Chrissy claims that she told this other YouTuber, this up and coming YouTuber, was that right now at this time, I'm not choosing to collab with anyone. When that changes, I will let you know. But what she did say was that she had already made the arrangements to do the collab with My Jazzy Life. But even if she hadn't, it's still her choice. You know, I mean, I, my question is, why do people think that YouTubers owe them any explanations on anything that they do? But basically what Strong Mommy Chrissy is just saying is that she is very proud of where she is. She's proud of what she's accomplished within her YouTube journey. And she's not going to think bad of herself because she's confident. She's not going to think bad of herself for what she has accomplished because you know why? She said there are enough of us out here in these YouTube streets already thinking bad enough about her. Now, that are going around are collab rumors basically where people are saying that Chrissy didn't want to collab with certain people because their subscriber count was too low or some other reasons what Chrissy is saying is it had nothing to do with subscriber count at all and if you honestly look at it just honestly honestly look at it what difference would it make what the subscriber count is of another YouTuber? It's not going to affect Chrissy's subscriber count. She would choose to collab with someone with a smaller subscriber count shouldn't make a difference. Chrissy is still Chrissy. She still has her subscribers. So what difference would it make if she chose to subscribe with somebody who was smaller? So. Whoever came up with that, I don't see the logic. I'm sorry, I just, I don't. But basically what Chrissy was saying is that people are offended by her choice. She did indicate on the video that she and My Jazzy Life had already thought and spoke about them collabing together. And to be frankly honest with you, from what I hear in Jasmine's videos, from what I hear in Chrissy's videos, they are friends. They speak on the regular. So quite naturally, if you have people that are friends and speak on the regular, maybe they had a better 
Why? Because of the fact they are single parent. Basically, she's like, she meaning Chrissy, Chrissy is like, I don't understand. I don't feel like I have to explain my reasons for collabing with anybody. I don't have to collab with anybody. And she doesn't. She doesn't. So what Chrissy claims that she told this other YouTuber, this up and coming YouTuber, was that right now at this time, I'm not choosing to collab with anyone. When that changes, I will let you know. But what she did say was that she had already made the arrangements to do the collab with My Jazzy Life. But even if she hadn't, it's still her choice. You know, I mean, I, my question is, why do people think that YouTubers owe them any explanations on anything that they do? So I guess Chrissy just got on just to make it very clear to everybody that she owes nobody no explanations about what she does. She basically was saying something about another YouTuber that feels like they know everything about her, but that if we want to know about anything that is going on with her, if it didn't come out of her mouth, then you should question it. She went on to mention that she's very open with us and she pretty much tells us everything other than what she files on her taxes, how much she gets back and all that kind of stuff, which she shouldn't. I mean, she's not obligated to tell us anything. So then lastly, I'm going to say this part and it's going to be it for the video. It's a real short video. She was also making reference. She meaning Chrissy was also making reference of her meet and greet. The tickets from what I can understand were only $10. The event was taking place in Las Vegas and you were able to go through Eventbrite. Now, because so many people were saying that $10 was too much for them, they couldn't do this, they couldn't do that. Basically what Strong Mommy Chrissy was saying was that a lot of people were saying they didn't have the $10 to pay for the meet and greet. So basically what Strong Mommy Chrissy indicated was you can come for free. Go through Eventbrite, get your ticket, come to Vegas, meet me at the meet and greet. But if I give you your tickets for free, don't have me come into the meet and greet and don't show up. And I feel her on that. So all of you all that want to meet Strong Mommy Chrissy, go to Eventbrite, I believe it is the video where she is indicating she is having a red carpet event for a meet and greet. Go ahead and get your tickets. You can get your tickets free of charge right now. But basically what Strong Mommy Chrissy was telling us this morning before she deleted this particular video, it was really strange. I was looking at the video, clicked off of it. Thank God I had already finished it and went back to look at it because a lot of times with me, when I do my videos, I will listen to the video in its entirety, write notes. If I'm not clear on something, I'll go back, play that section of the video to make sure that whatever it is that I'm bringing to you guys, whatever it is that I'm repeating, that I pretty much have it verbatim. Now, I have to give this disclaimer. There are some times when I may make mistakes not because I'm trying to fudge anything or make anything look even greater than what it is, but there are times when I just may make mistakes because I'm human, you know, just like everybody else. But like I said, I don't want to make the video be too long. I want to make sure to keep my videos at a minimum. I am not pressed now anymore for watch time. I do want the watch time. So please continue to come back and look at my videos. I appreciate you, but I've met my watch time. Now I just got to get these few little subscribers and um, we'll be rolling. 
So thank you to all of you who have tuned in. Thank you to those who continue to come back. Let me tell you something. These new subscribers that I got, I did obtain them from my Tony Daily video. And let me tell you something. I would venture out to say that 75% of the subscribers that I gained over the weekend were Tony Daily supporters. She has some really good supporters. Quite honestly, just like any other YouTuber, she has those that don't particularly like her. We all do. But if I could get more like her, I would be forever grateful because her supporters really, really honestly have her back. Now, I have to make mention, Tony Daly, from what she said, okay, y'all, I'm gonna put this out here, from what Tony Daly said in her last video that I just looked at this morning, she has been doing YouTube for nine years. So she built up her subscribers. And I'm quite sure she, just like anybody else, has lost a few and gained a few and lost a few and gained a few because that's the nature of the game here. But if I could get just half of hers, the one thing I know is that they will support. She has very loyal subscribers. So don't want to make the videos too long. My daughter said, Mama, you making your videos too long. I don't want to do that. I don't want to continue to say the two words that I say a lot. I want to take my time with my videos, get my videos out so that you guys will have something to look at every single day. Because my name is not Carol's Daily Sauce for me to be uploading videos every two days. Daily means every single day. So please like, comment, and subscribe. Go ahead and put some comments in the comment section. You could put recommendations of what it is that you wanna see. My email is also on my channel. You could email me and tell me some things that you'd like to see. I'm all ears. Thank you so much. You all have a blessed night and I will talk to each and every one of you real soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>